people welcome back to our youtube channel um and this is the whole day so um i said to make a video about you know api so you know recently i have been um, a fan of Laravel api building api in Laravel, and um you know, I was um, I still believe that you can build whatever in it, I mean API in whatever. But um recently I tried a new strategy, a, a new framework. I tried um Spring Boot. So um you know in a startup there is two things you know you need to think about, you know, you need to think about you know speed and the quality. Those are two things you need to think about. So with Laravel, you can achieve quality, but speed is going to be a little bit, you know, critical. Because like you need to, you need to wire everything uh, together. You need to put the database in places, and you need to put the controller, the model, and so forth. So um, and on top of that, you need to, you need to define every route uh, that that is going to every route that is going to which controller and then you query the data and you need to do this manually. So uh, on on speed side, it is not good. So uh, and um, and given to the business use cases, um, you know, rather is the server side um, alone. So, you know, uh, if if you're planning to build something that is going to be shipped to a client in form of like um, an executable file, then I think PHP is not a good choice for you. You know, PHP is known for for the backend side of uh, executing stuff on, on server side. So um, I, I recently tried the, the Spring Boot Java because like uh, I started Java at um, at school in, in, in my computer science um, you know, course. So I used to use Java as an assignment and doing the assignment and so forth. So the, I think the main reason why I didn't like Java so much was like I had this misconception of like, you cannot create uh, a Java application, a beautiful desktop application. So I had this uh, misconception because like when you Google around the Java, you don't find something really interest, uh, interesting in terms of like the, the beautiful application, you know, because Java is not known for that, you know, it's known in being robust tab, you know. So then I, I, I used it as an assignment doing the, the algorithm stuff like, um, finding the, the, the binary search uh, you know, and so forth. So I never used it uh, for, for my own projects until, 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 until recently when I thought of like speed, quality, ease of use, and, and, um, and the, the openness of it. And those things really, because now I'm in a position like I don't have time, you know, I have, I have the daily job I have to do. So, which means I don't have time to 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 code something. I want to code myself, like because I street, I strongly believe like a good engineer need to have something he code on his free time. Because like there's no way you can be a good engineer, right? If you wait for for your normal job, right? Now. Because when you you have your free time and you can code on something, that's when you you learn a lot. That's when you discover a lot. Because because the loom of making the mistake is is wide, you know, and you can make those mistakes on your project, but you cannot make the same mistakes when you're working for someone. Uh, those those mistakes sometimes is uh, critical and can cost billions of dollars. And and uh, you know, man, I think now uh, if if you're going to build an uh, website or an application, the API, I think, this is my opinion, the API should be in Java, and you use maybe Laravel for, 
for the front end stuff like you know uh, the authentication the the ui side because like right now relevant so good in creating the, the front end and interacting with the the back end stuff but make sure that you call in the background the the, the, the java api because like it's so easy and so simple so robust and to create the api with um with Java Spring Boot. I think I will create tutorials around that to show you how easy it is. Um, it's just like, if you can request that, I will do that. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time.